Kitten. It's been uh, called a game machine, it's been called an internet console, uh, it's been called a multimedia player. Uh, it's really not one of those individually, but actually all of them together. Pippin technology is, is technology derived from the Power Mac architecture. Uh, it's been derived here at Apple Computer, represents sophisticated computing, but in a consumer appliance. As a developer and a student, the thing I like most about the Pippin is its ease of use. As a developer, I find it very easy to port titles across from the Macintosh platform to the Pippin platform. As a student, I find it easy to access the internet and run multimedia games. We think that Pippin represents the next generation of a lot of the things that you'll be seeing from Apple. Pippin is technology developed by Apple Computer, and it's technology that we are licensing to a number of our partners who are developing products around this as a platform. And those products are meant to address an entirely new space in computing. The space really will be much more in the vein of media appliances, uh, appliances that can play back multimedia interactively to consumers, uh, as well as giving them access to the internet and other uh, online services. And Bandai, one of Japan's largest children's entertainment company, is the first licensee. They've incorporated the technology in this box, which is the At World. Some of the advantages, I believe, of using Pippin technology is that it provides um, a low-cost way for developers to get their titles into the home and also for developers to advertise on the internet. Pippin is not a completely new type of architecture. It's based on Macintosh. And so if you're a Macintosh developer today, you really don't have to do very much in order to get something to work on Pippin. Basically, developing for Pippin is exactly the same as developing for the Macintosh. We tell people to use the same development tools that they use when developing Macintosh software when developing for Pippin. What's unique about Pippin is that a title that's developed for Pippin can also be run on a Macintosh. Uh, this, is, this is very unique because uh, you don't really have a proprietary platform uh, that you're waiting for an install base to grow on in order for your title to be successful. Uh, the other interesting part, uh, of course, is that uh, it doesn't, is not limited only to Pippin and to Macintosh. One can e as easily include uh, a Windows version of the, Mac of the application that you may be writing the title. Uh, and then you truly have a hybrid disk uh, able to deploy across a huge number of platforms. Uh, this is the mo one of the most exciting stories to our developers. Apple Computer is the only company in the industry that has not just the software and the hardware, but we also have great development tools, and we also have great content already available on Macintosh. We think that all of these things combined make it possible for developers to get involved in this new generation of products with very little incremental risk. Pippin is uh, very exciting as a new class of consumer appliance because it really starts to address a whole new market space that uh, personal computer companies have not really tapped yet. One of the uh, exciting parts about Pippin is that it repackages very powerful technology, PowerPC technology from Apple, Macintosh operating system, uh, the very best in CD-ROM technology and audio quality, uh, into an appliance that's easy to use and has a very um, obvious um, usage model for the consumer. 
Wow, for a small box it sure does a lot. For developers, for retailers, for consumers interested in finding out more about the Pippin, please come to the Pippin website at www.pippin.apple.com.